Hey folks, it's Lindsay Hulse with SPS back in the building over at the meeting space, a great space in Southfield, Michigan for a great event. I'm sitting here with not only the caterer, not only the uncle, not only the brother, not only the coach, Mr. Aaron Marshall, who's done some great things, man. I want to say, hey, congratulations to you. And that I was telling you offline that uh, after you won the state championship, I was able to sit in that room with you guys and uh, everyone had their questions. I said, you know what? I ain't worried. I see him at Isaiah's event. We were better sit down and get an exclusive. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. Well, I know you probably had to answer this question so many times, but just as if you never did it before. How you feel, man? Man, it feels good, man. Um, you know, and it feel extra special, you know, doing it for the community of Southfield and, 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 you know, our people grew up with and everybody came out, man. And that's what was so special to see through the entire process, kind of the, you know, the, the, um, the hype kept building and building. And yeah. The, the community kind of realized, man, we got something. And so yeah. they, they supported us, man. They backed us. Um, and again, the senior class was amazing, man. So it felt real good. Right? Yeah. So as a head coach, you know how much important it is. Uh, we got the future right here. We yes, got sir. Right and everyone coming in. You know how important it is uh, those back end things, uh, yeah. community support and all mm -hmm. that type of stuff. Because community can either chirp or they can support. That's it. Would you have that? Um, now going forward, and maybe it's too soon to ask the question how do you stay locked in? How do you stay focused on how more importantly do you manage expectations? Um, you know, man, it's, it's, I got a young group coming up, um, but the best thing for that group was to see this senior group. Yeah. Right? So they understand the expectations. Yeah. They were um, so, and, and that's what's really important for us um, in our program is that everybody who just witnessed, you know, the senior and junior group, the older guys, has success. Mm -hmm. They hungry for it, too. Mm -hmm. you know, they coming by during the day in school, man. They knocking on my door like, Coach, we in the weight room yet? I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we just won two weeks ago. Let's slow down. Right. They're talking about those tangible things, yes. like things that really matter. Talking about weight room already, and that's yes. a good thing. So they already know what the expectations are. Absolutely. Oh, that, that is, is wonderful. Good thing. Yeah. yeah. Talk about also, we'll talk about Isaiah in a moment. Excuse me. Man, you got so much talent in this room right now. I mean, they all ain't playing for you, but I mean, I'm sitting down with all these future, all the funk young men and women that are yeah. doing good. Talk about the great athletes that are here in this space right now. Man, it's, it's so many great Division One athletes and Division Everything athletes in this room. But it's a testament to, you know, the sign of the times, man. These young men grew up playing Little League together. Unlike when we was little, at least, you know, we didn't have the no, rising no, stars, 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 no. stars, right? So these young men are able to go train with each other in the off season. Uh -huh. You know, they go to different schools. Sure. So it's competition on the field, but they are real brothers off the field. So it's right. beautiful to see all these young men here. They up here. Yeah, man. I posed this question to Coach Izzo. It was under different circumstances because of the rough time they were having and whatnot. And I have a relationship with them, and I have a sports psychology background. I had to preface all these things. And I said, Coach, I'm saying this with, you know, uh, complete, you know, uh, 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 you know, humility to you. How's your mental health? From a mental health standpoint, how are you? How is the community? Because it's a roller coaster, right? It is, man. Um, but it's a blessing. So, so I think you know, as long as we keep everything, you know, focused on the right things. You know what I'm saying? We we pray daily. You know, we know how thankful we are. We know, like I told the team after winning the championship, you know, God has blessed you, um, you know, with favor, and He give you opportunities that other people might not have. Mm -hmm. So, just as fast as He gave it to you, He can take it away from you, mm -hmm. right? So we got to remain and stay grounded. We got to remain humble. Um, and that's kind of the program we built. You know, again, me, my family, the community, like everybody on my team, the coaching staff, we're a real humble group. Um, and we put God first, and we understand that this is a blessing, so we don't we don't tend to take advantage of it. Yeah, I get that. And I won't keep you too long because I know some people over there in that line. I ain't got in that line yet. My you got to get in there, man. You know, I'm going to get over here. You got to get in there. How, how is it for you even stand with the mental health conversation and have the ability to put your apron on and to put your hand into some yeah. food? And yeah, so, that, that, that put a smile on your face. Man, yeah, I love it. I got, I got a catering company, Martial Law Catering. Um, and you know, it's funny, like how you tell kids, man, you shouldn't do football year-round. Right. You shouldn't do a certain thing year-round. That, that's my mental health piece for me. Cooking yeah. is like golfing. Yeah, I got you. Right? I'm not a golfer. I'm with you. I like to get on the grill. Yeah. I like to get in the kitchen. Uh -huh. And I like to cook. I like to put a smile on people's faces through food. Yeah. So for me, man, that is absolutely my therapy. Uh -huh. That's that's my, my piece. I get that. Yeah. And I would almost argue that there is an element to the success that's going on right there. You know? Okay, he's okay. <laughs> recording right now. You see, the love is there. That's the it. Love I is appreciate there. you. They can't help it. They can't help it. Um, 
But I can appreciate us talking about that. And again, the fact that uh, the mental health part yeah. is important all the way That's around with what's going on. Everybody trying to get at you, man. Where your security you detail at, yeah. man? I know it's all love, but you need some handlers or something. Trying to do an interview with the man. They say, hey, man, yeah. uh, my number is, and my son need to get uh, But that's a testament to what you did. We'll take that long, right? Absolutely. I'm so glad I had the time. Thank you. And like I said, here, no, I, I, no, I was happy to be here. No, uh, I tell the whole world, I passed up on Baylor. Uh, versus uh, Michigan State, and they went yeah. in Michigan State, went in Pop, and I said, no, I'm going to come over here with Isaiah and the family. I but, appreciate uh, it. I will continue to support you. I continue to be around, and anything I can do to help you, let me know, okay? Yes, sir. Thank All you, right. With that being said, Lindsay Elson, SBS. We'll see you next time. Peace.